Hey guys, Julie here from Birmingham Mom's Vlog, and today we are at Shade Tree Dental, one of my favorite places. I come here all the time. It's where I go to the dentist, yeah. and a lot of our <laughs> friends go. And so today we're talking about home health care techniques for the dentist, for keeping your teeth healthy at home. And so this is Dr. and Beth and Rhonda. They're going to hey, tell us what to do today. So Dr. and Beth, why is this such an important topic, you think? Yeah, so home health care is really important because we can only do so much here at the dental office. Right. Um, it's one of those things where we can, you know, we can fix teeth, we can give you education and that kind of thing, but if you're not doing your leg work at home, no matter what we do here, everything, you know, nothing's going to really work because we don't have proper oral hygiene at home. And sure. I think one of the big things is I didn't really even know how to properly floss my teeth and brush my teeth until I went to dental school. No one ever, like, really sat down and oh, wow. me, so. Yeah. One thing we really pride ourselves on here at Chase Street Dental is patient education, uh, uh, and that starts with your hygiene department and Miss Rhonda here, so... Uh, she has all types of great tips and tricks and how to clean your teeth properly and get into nooks and crannies you wouldn't necessarily get into. So we're going to do a kind of an overview of just how to properly brush and floss your teeth. Kind of going back to the fundamentals here. You and know? then when you come to this, you can be proud of your teeth and not scared yeah, that something's going to exactly. be wrong. So, okay. uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, um, right. yeah, so we'll, uh, if you want to leave the background up, right. I'm going to be the victim okay, today. Good. I know, this is super and, fun. Uh, like, he could... Like all the torture today. Yeah, not yeah, one yeah. Of us. Oh, I'm gonna torture. Okay, Con contrary to popular belief, we are not here to hurt you. Yeah, by the way, we have friggin' Birmingham dads on the mom blog. You know, I get on there all the time too. We have the NCAA tournament on our TVs right Don't now. Don't you come watch basketball? We got right here too. Yeah. Get your teeth clean. Yeah. Watch the games. You won't miss the so. games that are going on. That is true. There you go. All right. Usually when I'm starting off with hygiene instructions is because the patient has either a lot of things that are filling up in their mouth that, you know, really shouldn't. Okay. So I start asking, okay. how often do you brush your teeth? <gasps> I brush twice a day. That's twice awesome. Day. Is that right? Is that yes. the right answer? That is yes. exactly the right answer. Now the next question is, how long do you brush each time? Oh. Ooh, yeah, see, I'm, uh, uh I was better before my kids. <laughs> right. You know, you now it's like a mad dash, and there's usually <laughs> one of them, like, in some type of, like, you know, rolling contraption. So. Yeah. Sure, yeah. It's probably <laughs> not the proper two minutes, but I still, I do use an electric toothbrush. And oh, that's very helpful. Yeah. And yeah. the main thing is, it has, it has to take two minutes. Yep. Two, two minutes. minutes. Okay. To break down this biofilm that builds up on your teeth. It acts like, uh, kind of like double-sided sticky tape. It sticks to your teeth and your gums. Everything that you eat in your drink, the acids, the sugars, and all those kind of adhere to that. Okay. So if you're not breaking that down and getting rid of it, then it's just kind of staying there constantly. Okay. So this is so bad. Not minutes. only for teeth, but it's also bad for gums. Yes. Okay. Two minutes and an electric toothbrush is better. Electric toothbrush, oh, yeah. toothbrush is fabulous. Because yeah. most of those have a two-minute timer on them. Oh. So it makes it even better. Set a timer. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Great. Yeah. Then, once you're mm -hmm. putting in here, a lot of people, when they're trying to brush the outside of these back teeth back here, oh. they want to open it super big so that yeah. they can get back there to it. That's actually counterproductive. What okay. you have to do is you get your toothbrush and right. your cheek, you close about halfway, and then you shift your lower jaw to the side you're brushing, and it gives all kinds of room over here in the corner now so that you can get the toothbrush around the gum line coming all the way around to the front. You're hmm. able to get the back side of the last tooth that's there in the mouth. Okay. So if you're opening super big, like you normally do, there's not enough room. The brush oh, can't get there. So don't so, open your mouth too wide. Right. Open it kind of like to the side. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Close about halfway and shift to the side you're brushing. Alrighty. Okay. Great. The other place where a lot of people miss is on the back sides of the lower front teeth. Oh, yeah. real wide. And I have a retainer back there, and it is so oh, hard. Yes. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't like those. They, I know. <laughs> they function lovely, I don't love but it we either, do not like those. Because they sorry, are hard to clean around. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> We like removable retainers, yeah. 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 Okay, getting to the insides of these teeth, you know, we're trying to watch. The bristles, you know, is not really just going to get to everything. So you almost have to turn your toothbrush up this way. Oh. And you kind of brush individually on the back sides of these teeth. And as you're doing that, you can feel the tips of the bristles down at the gum line on the inside. Sure. And as long as you're doing that, then you can make sure that you're I getting all of that I can imagine your mirror then would be quite... <laughs> well, it gives you an excuse <laughs> to clean it every single That's day. That's true, yeah. okay. All right. And then just everywhere else, you just want to make sure that you're not scrubbing straight back and forth. You want okay. to point the bristles toward the gum line at about a 45 degree angle. And you want to brush in little circles. And that kind of makes the bristles
muscles of the toothbrush spread out, kind of like a little broom, and it just kind of oh. sweeps through there and cleans out things. Nice. Okay. Flossing. Flossing. Yes. Okay. Mm. So do you Not, ask everybody about flossing then too? I do, and okay. it's usually very disappointing. <laughs> but you can you can tell people like lie, but won't you bleed if you haven't been doing it a long yeah. time? Yeah. So well, it's like. But on on the other hand, they can actually bleed if they are flossing oh, too okay. aggressively. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you can also see the signs of that in yeah. the mouth. So so how don't often lie to the floss? dentist. Don't lie to your dentist. <laughs> uh, no. How often should you floss? Because we'll know. Yeah. Preferably once a day. Once a day. Okay. But I am not going to be overly concerned if you're only flossing three to four times a week as long okay. as you're doing it consistently. Sure. I would love every day. Okay. But I'll let you work up to it. Okay. Three or four times a week. Thanks, <laughs> hey, yeah. Rhonda. Appreciate that. We work with you here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, and a lot of times people are trying to floss by putting the floss around their index fingers. Right. Yeah. And if you do that, you've usually got about this much space in between fingers. And if you're trying to get that all the way to the back, Can't it feels it. like... Ten fingers and both fists are going down your Right. Back. It makes <laughs> yes. it difficult. Yeah. Uh, also, you have no control over the pressure. So if you're in a very tight place, all you can do is push harder. Right. And then once it gets tacked, it just slams into the gum tissue. Okay. And that's traumatizing, and gum tissue doesn't like that either. Okay. So if you will wrap the floss around your middle finger. Okay, middle fingers. Yeah. Okay. okay. Done. I'll show and you. And how long is that? That's a long piece of floss. Uh, anywhere from 18 to 24 inches. Wow. Or even more. Okay. Because you're wanting a clean section for every uh, two sets of teeth that you're flossing. So you don't, you don't do the same one every right. time. Right. You don't okay. want to take the plaque and the bacteria out from between these two teeth and then stick it right between right. these two. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. Counterproductive. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. You get it around your middle fingers, but you're okay. still going to use your index fingers and your thumbs to control it. But this way, you have more control over it, okay. and you've got a bigger piece. Also, when you're doing it this way, when you're doing it on yourself, your thumb kind of goes in here and it holds, you know, the cheek back while you're going in. Mm -hmm. But when I'm doing this with other people, my finger will hold the cheek back. Oh. And then it goes on the back side of the last tooth. Very easy to get to. And it's and I'm not sticking both fingers and both and fists and, and half yeah. my arm down his mouth. Right. <laughs> now, so what you have to do is you have to make sure that you're getting up under the edges of the gum line when you are flossing. Most people okay. go straight in and out. They go in and out. Right. They go in and out, in and out. Uh -huh. That's great for anything that's stuck directly in between the teeth. Okay. Whether it's, um, you know, you've had good ribs or you popcorn. had some popcorn or yeah. you know, corn on the cob. All of that yeah. sticks in the front teeth. That will get that out. But right. the plaque and bacteria gets under the gum line, so you want to make sure that you're kind of seesawing this back and forth to get it past the, the contact point. So that it doesn't slam in and then you're going to wrap it around the tooth and go below the gum line wow so it is like up in there mm -hmm. it is okay now that doesn't hurt mm -mm. does it <laughs> <laughs> because the tissue is not connected all the way in there okay so if you're just going straight in and out between all of your teeth it's mm -hmm. like cleaning the side of your arm Okay. But wrapping it around the tooth and going below the gum line, you're cleaning off the shoulders of the teeth as well. Right. So those little pick things that have just a teeny tiny piece of floss, is that like, like, that's... Not okay, is that bad? Or what if you like, you <laughs> clean it off between each one? <laughs> like what? You know, right. Like, clean uh, off the I would say those are good for like, you know, after you eat your shredded chicken or your shredded yes, pork okay. and pop things out of there at the okay. restaurant. Okay. It's not, they're not going to be as effective though as okay. like getting around your fingers long -term. and okay. incrementally getting okay. up inside. Okay. Not long term. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can I pick you back up now? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Um, Ooh. But yes, the, the floss picks are great to have in right. your purse or in your car yeah. just to be able to get these out, you know, that it kind of gets stuck. Mm -hmm. But you want to do your effective flossing mm -hmm. with string floss and okay. make sure that you're getting in there properly. Any particular brands that y'all suggest? Whatever you are going to use on a daily basis. Yeah. Is oh, good call. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. My personal favorite is the Glide Floss because Glide. it's flat, it's okay. slick, and it's made for tight contact. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it will get in and out of all of these areas much easier. And it sounds like buy a big pack of it because if you're going to use two rollers yeah. length. Okay. Well, that was about 30 pieces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm taking a you fishing with yeah. me. Right. You'll tell a good lie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Well, great. Okay, so I feel like we're, we're flossing once a day, we're brushing twice a day. Mm -hmm. What else can we be doing? Mouthwash or anything Absolutely. else? Absolutely. Mouth rinses mm -hmm. are always a good ad addition. I prefer Listerine. It's just my absolute favorite. Okay, Listerine. But they also have different ones 
depends on what the patient needs. Yeah. If the patient is uh, high cavity prone, then a yeah. fluoride type mm -hmm. rinse makes okay. it even better. So these have Axe fluoride rinse. But um, yes, I've heard of that. this brand also has a toe care that has fluoride in it as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how long do you swish around? Yeah, how long? You swish for about 30 seconds. Do you gargle or just swish? Uh, you just swish. Okay. Um, okay. If you're gargling, I mean, you're probably going to end up with some of it down your throat. Okay, that's all going to Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that kind of okay. burns. Yeah. But um, <laughs> you swish for at least 30 seconds. Okay. Spit it out. Try not to rinse afterwards. Okay. And it just lets it stay effective okay. for a while. Yeah. If the Listerine is too strong and it does kind of burn, mm -hmm. you can kind of dilute it half and half with water. You oh. could then swish for a full okay. minute. Okay. Great idea. Mm -hmm. Also, any foods to either avoid completely, moderate, or any foods you are like, these are great for your teeth, or anything like that? Uh, well, you know, all foods, you can enjoy everything. Okay. In moderation, make sure that okay. you brush, floss, do the things right. that you're supposed to do. Okay. Uh, try not to snack uh, continuously all during the day. Okay. Uh, every yeah. time you take a drink of something or a nibble of some kind of a little snack, the pH of your saliva starts changing mm -hmm. and it goes into this oh. acid branch. Oh, and it okay. stays there for quite a while. It's not just while you've got the food in your mouth and it goes back you know, yeah. to its normal. It yeah. stays in that acidic range for quite some time. So oh, if wow. you're nibbling and snacking on something all day long, okay. you're keeping the saliva in that acid range and it's just damaging your teeth. Yeah, frequency is much worse than volume. Hmm. Yes. Oh. Oh. Okay, so take some breaks. Yes. Yeah, take if you're gonna eat that bag of gummies, mm -hmm. eat them all at one time. Okay, yeah. that is. <laughs> well. And yeah. is it possible to brush your teeth too much? Oh, yeah. uh, you can, you can and yeah. you can brush too aggressively okay. as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. You, you're not scrubbing the floor, yeah. so you don't have to brush that hard. Um, but medium, kind of light to medium contact. And that's where the power brushes come in very handy because yeah. they will not let you brush It will alert you and stop brushing. Oh. Too hard. Yeah, the big thing there is, um, yeah, the, uh, your tooth surface is very smooth, if you think about it. Right. So you don't need to really do a whole lot of scrubbing. You're more just kind of cleaning and polishing, like you're saying. Yeah. Um, if you start scrubbing too, you get some gum recession, that kind of thing. So you want to take it easy on your gums. Yeah. You do want to properly clean them, but don't scrub too hard or anything. Okay. Also, stay away from whitening toothpaste. That's mm -hmm. all. That's always a question yes, we get. Yeah, we talked about that before. Yeah. They're very abrasive. I think we talked about it before in our whitening video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, stay away from any any type of more abrasive, aggressive toothpaste. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just get your like normal Colgate Total mm -hmm. or Crest Colgate Complete. Okay. Crest Complete. Crest came out with a new Detoxify that Ooh. we're all about lately. It's, it's Great. Like, Very good. It's really nice. Okay. Gum Detoxify. Now that also out. reminded me of Trident gum. Like, it's chewing gum. <laughs> like, you know, there's your like dentist recommends. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, <laughs> sugar free gum is actually really good. It contains huh. xylitol. Okay. Xylitol actually it can help. It doesn't, yeah, it can help kill the bacteria that cause the cavities or it slows them oh, down. Okay. So it's actually a really good, um, so guys, sugar free gum. Sugar free gum, yeah. we're, we're big fans. You heard it, yeah. Okay. yeah. Excellent. Well, I think that's all we have time for today. Yeah, we no. really appreciate y'all letting us come and yeah, you we, ask all of our questions yeah, and, and we, having you here. Yeah, and, and this we, is really fun. You know, I, I've been here several times and I love it, <laughs> and it's beautiful here. And we really recommend if you're looking for a dentist, yeah. like this is a great place to be. It's in Homewood. It's really great location for everybody. Sure, yeah, so. right off the of 65, off of uh, Columbia and Greensburg, right here in Homewood. And yeah, I just want to close out saying, you know, it's a uh, you know, we like to work together with our patients. It's a partnership for sure, and that's where the at-home care really comes into play. So, uh, yeah, appreciate y'all uh, taking the time to watch the video, and uh, yeah. yeah, we'll see you next time. All right, thanks. See y'all later. Bye. Yeah.